Gibbs and fires it short. Beautiful play made by Tremont Williams. Back against the grain. He's it up and he gets away. Tremont Williams throws the end zone. Nearly intercepted. And it is. is. Intercepted in the end zone. Tremont <laughs> Williams makes it over the shoulder. Interception. Third interception of the day for the Packers. Welcome back to Total Packers. Joining us now, Tremont Williams and Tremont 9-3 and three and in the hunt in December is a good place to be, right? Most definitely. Um, this is where we want to be coming into December. Now everybody knows that the month of December is an important month. That's when you want to be playing your best ball. So hopefully we can put our best foot forward this month right here. I love the way you guys took control in the fourth quarter against the Giants. Your interception was part of that effort. Give us a backstory on it. <clears throat> well, we knew that they needed to make a big play. I did. I was actually outside on that play. I wasn't um, in the slot. Just pretty much being aware. I pay attention to everything that goes on on the field. Looking at the quarterback, looking at the receiver. Got up to the line, got impressed. Um, looked at the quarterback, saw the quarterback and the receiver make hand gestures. Most of the time they make hand gestures, probably a fade route. That'll be the first thing on my mind. That's exactly what it was. So I just stayed high on the shoulder of the receiver and just got my eyes around it. In due time, was able to locate the ball and go up and make a play on it. Now, the Snow Angels thing was certainly <clears throat> appropriate. Was that planned ahead of time? It wasn't. It wasn't <laughs> at all, man. But we don't get opportunity to do that a lot. So I thought that it was a perfect opportunity to do the Snow Angel. Tremon, before some games, I go and look at the grades for individual players on Pro Football Focus. Just kind of get a feel for strength and weaknesses on each team's rosters. And going into this game, the highest graded corner on either team was Tremont Williams. At age 36, playing at that level, what keeps you hungry? Um, a little bit of everything, Larry. Um... You know, I got, I got kids at home who's watching me now. Um, I got young guys in my DB room who continues to challenge me every day. And people see it differently. People see it differently. I'm the older guy. I'm teaching these young guys, but I'm learning from them, you know, at the same time. So um, I always feel that you never get old enough to learn. And that's what I'm doing. Even though I'm teaching these guys, I'm learning from them at the same time. And I'm putting my best foot forward for my kids because my little boy, he's watching everything that I do right that's now. That's got to be cool, huh? Everything that I do, he loves football. He knows everything about it at this age. He's nine years old. He knows everything about it. And he asks all of these different questions. So I, I want to perform well for him at the same time so he can go back and say that my daddy did this. Um, I know what it looked like. And if he have you know, that dream to do the same thing, then I can be there for him and have at least paved, paved the way for him. Tremont, you often get asked <clears throat> about your leadership and what you're saying to the young guys, but this is just speculation on my part. But I think at this point, your leadership is not what you say, but who you are. What do you think? I think so. Um, I've always been a lead by example guy. Um, I speak when need to be spoken. I don't speak just to speak. I feel like if you speak too much, when you do say something, it doesn't carry as much weight. So when I say something, I want it to be quality. I want to get all ears. Um, and, and that's the way I lead. You know, um, my personality is, is, is laid back. Um, guys tend to gravitate to me. And um, like I said, that challenges me. That challenges me first and foremost to do the right thing because I know guys are watching, and I'm trying to set that example of if you just do the right thing, you don't have to worry about guys saying, oh, you're a role model, you're this and that. If you do the right thing, you don't have to worry about all of those different sayings. Just do what's right, and everything will take care of itself. Now, Tremont, you have won the big one. As a matter of fact, you sealed the deal back in Super Bowl yeah. 45 with right that memory. pass defense. Now, you've been there and done it. What's got to happen with this team moving forward down the stretch here? What's it got to do? Because your team back then, it got better. What's got to happen for that to happen? Same thing. We have to get better. Uh, last time we won the Super Bowl, um, and we had to win the last two games to get into the playoffs. You know, I tell guys all the time, I'm like, man, we, should, we struggled throughout the year. We had our ups and downs. 
but we still believed at the end of the day we knew we had a lot of talent on the field and all we knew we had to do was put it together. And same thing here. And I, I, actually, now we're in a better spot, but we still have to get better. You know, we still have to kind of catch fire, um, clean up some things on both sides of the ball, special teams everywhere. We have to clean up some things. We've been giving up a little bit too many explosive plays this year. 13 seasons and going strong. Do you have a number in mind? I don't. I don't at all. Um, I take it a year at a time. Like I said, uh, I know God is going to continue to lead me in the right direction. Uh, I pray on it all the time. So um, I never put a number on anything. Um, I just kind of go with the flow. And um, if the flow tell me to keep going, I'll keep going. If it tell me to stop, I'll stop. Tremont, thanks for being with us. Appreciate it, Larry. All these years, you've done a great job of representing yourself and the Green Bay Packers. I appreciate really, it. Really great stuff. All right, thank you for being here.